Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. So today I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review of Starcrossed by Barbara D. This is a middle grade contemporary romance with LGBTQ plus themes. Though this book is diverse, it is not own voices and my review of this will not be own voices because I do not belong to the populations represented in this book. However, I do have a couple of friends who have done own voices reviews and I'm linking them down below. That's Stacy's Bookish Probs and Gabby Arno. I highly recommend checking out their reviews. That's not to say that my review is going to be bad or anything like that, but that I can't speak to the representation and how well it was done because I'm not part of that population and neither is Barbara D. However, for own voices books, I tend not to include own voices reviews, though they are valuable because the author is a part of that population. Also, I have a brace because I have tendinitis. Ignore it. It will probably be around for at least a month. So this story is kind of like a Romeo and Juliet retelling. It features a protagonist named Maddie and her friend group as their 8th grade production of Romeo and Juliet is going on, and there's casting, and they're all excited about it. And while this is happening, Maddie is starting to realize that she might have feelings for a specific member of the cast that she did not anticipate that she would or could have feelings for. As this book is super short, this video will probably be pretty short as well, I'll go through my likes, my dislikes, and then give my star rating. So this book is adorable. I don't typically love middle grade romance or anything, but I thought this was very cute. I thought that this pretty accurately represented what it's like to be a middle schooler and to have a crush on someone and how that feels, and I thought it was actually really sweet. It didn't make me feel annoyed like I often do with contemporary romance, possibly because it was middle grade and not YA. <laughs> It's cute with the romance and with the friendships and family. I really liked seeing Maddie interact with her friends and seeing the different dynamics between the friends depending on their personalities and what they're just like as a person and seeing how they interact with each other and with the other groups in their school. And then Maddie is part of a family, obviously, but there's a present family in this book. She has her parents and her little brothers and her older sister who is in college. I also enjoyed seeing theater and English in this book. So the theater production is part of their English course, but Maddie loves words. Maddie likes books and words and reading and I really connected with that. But then there's also the aspect of the production for the theater. So I think that people who enjoy those specific subjects would really like this book. And then as I have already talked about, there is LGBTQ plus representation in this book. At the very least, there is a bisexual protagonist. And I enjoyed seeing how this 12 year old is navigating her feelings and her identity and wondering who she can talk to about these feelings. I thought that was really well done. But as I said, I am linking some own voices reviews down below. I do have a couple of dislikes. So I went in knowing that this was not my age group and I was prepared for most of that, but there were some times when there was slang thrown around or eighth graders being eighth graders that I was like, oh, that's a little annoying. But it was okay because it's middle grade. There were some times that I questioned whether or not the kids were really acting their age. For example, an eighth grader doing kind of like the nose kiss thing with a college age older sister in front of a school I thought might not be something that a preteen actually would do in front of a school, but they they might. I was just thinking based on my interaction with preteens that that might not be the most accurate. They might feel like it's making them look a little bit like a baby or something like that. And this book, though I enjoyed it, I didn't really get sucked into it. I didn't speed read through it or anything. I think it took me like a week to read this book and it's really short, which doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it. It just means that I didn't get really, really invested in it. But ultimately I did really enjoy it and I gave this four stars. I forgot to mention at the beginning that I received a copy of this book from a Goodreads giveaway from the publisher, which I happened to win because for some reason a few months back that was happening quite a bit and it was really cool. But these are all my honest opinion and I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really sweet and I think it's going to be extremely valuable for the actual middle grade age range that it is targeting. I've known queer people who have talked about how it would have been nice to have a book similar to this around that same age period because it would have been very normalizing for them. So I thought it was cute and I definitely understand its importance. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Comment down below and let me know if you have read Starcrossed and what you thought of it. And also, I highly recommend that you check out the reviews for Stacey's Bookish Probs and Gabby Arno, which are linked below. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, and until next time, bye.